The Supreme Court on Friday nullified the trial of a former governor of Abia State, Oji Kalu, and others who were in December convicted and sentenced for 7.1 billion naira fraud. Justice Mohamed Idris, who had been elevated to the Court of Appeal bench, had returned to the Federal High Court in Lagos to complete the case, which started in 2007. The judge had sentenced the ex-governor to 12 years imprisonment for the fraud he allegedly perpetrated during his tenure as Abia State governor. But in a unanimous judgment of the Supreme Court, led by Justice Olabode Rhodes Vivo. On Friday, the APS court nullified the entire trial on the ground that the Constitution does not permit a judge elevated to a higher court to return to a lower court to conclude a part heard case. Meanwhile, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu has vowed to dedicate the rest of his life pursuing justice for all Nigerians, wherever they may be. The former Abia State Governor stated date while reacting to Friday's Supreme Court ruling, quashing the judgment that convicted and sentenced him to 12 years imprisonment. Kalu, in a statement he personally signed, said the judgment the APS Court has affirmed his right to fair hearing and equal protection of the law. He said the five months he spent in the correctional facility has provided him an opportunity to learn invaluable lessons about Nigeria's justice system and true meaning of love. Meanwhile, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, has faulted the Supreme Court for setting free a former governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzokalu, from a 12-year jail. It described the judgment as unfortunate and a technical ambush. It, however, said it is ready for the retrial of Kanu as directed by the Apex Court. The EFCC made his reaction known in a statement by its head of media and publicity, Dele Oyewale. EFCC maintained the corruption charges against Kanu still subsist because the Supreme Court did not acquit him of them. We'll take a quick break, and after this, more news.